Hey there, sports fans. It's Opinionated Glenn. Um, you know, one scam that the airlines got going for them is luggage. Well, price of fuel. We got to charge you for your luggage. Luggage. They don't feed you anymore. Give you peanuts, and that's if you're lucky. Um, they use the excuse of the terrorists. They got to hire these uh, security TSA. Everybody knows what the TSA is. It's minorities that need a job. And the perverts that like the Frisco ladies. It's not costly. But it's a waste of time. It's just a way for the airlines to raise their prices. Now, Back to what this is all about. If an Arab bombs an airplane a hundred times, a different Arab, hey, you say, hey, the Arabs are doing it. We'll check the Arabs. We'll check their peepees for explosive. We'll check their assholes for TNT. We'll check their shoes. You don't check everybody else. You don't check the normal people. You check check the arrows. That's racial profiling. Now, 7-Eleven. Who is responsible for 99.9% .9 of the robberies in 7-Elevens? It's the minorities. So, you have two doors. Each door has an armed guard. You present your driver's license, they swipe it. If you're not a convicted felon, you waltz in. If you are a convicted felon, you use the wand on them. You check their asshole for guns and explosives, because they're going to rob the store. That racial profiling is a thing that is taught. We learn for our mistakes. That's all it is. And if you people don't see it, I don't know what. Oh, all the do-gooders are going to say, oh, we can't do that. <laughs> That's racial profiling. Hey, assholes, learn. If a certain group of people is robbing the stores, you ban them from the stores. You ban them from the banks. I don't care if it's racial profiling or not. If a certain group of people are terrorists, you stick the gun up their asshole and terrorize them. Not everybody else. Not as an excuse to raise your useless airfares. You're going to put the airlines out of business. And that's what's going to happen. Unless you get back to normal, everyday things. But... Oh, my God. The do-gooders are responsible for them not racial profiling. I'm going to tell you another story. In this area where I live, there's a lot of stores off the freeway. There used to be a lot of restaurants, but the people that are, should have been racially profiled aren't. And they robbed those stores to death. When there's a robbery that takes place in one of these communities... The cops all hit the entrance ramps for the expressway. Why? Because they know that the people are headed back to the hood with their goods and their money. It only makes sense. You learn from the past. I don't care if you want to call it racial profiling or what. So, people, you might have learned something here. Okay? If you didn't, what do I say? Okay, good buddy. 2150, take it myself. 10-4, and good day.